Remind me to not upset you in the future. Yeah, I'm a... Carla, that was brilliant. She's been doing my head in. Someone should have done that weeks ago. Yeah, I nearly slapped her myself. Everyone's got the breaking point, haven't they? Yeah, what does she mean about Robert not knowing all she'd done for him? Beats me. I gave up trying to understand that woman a long time ago. Oh, come on, let's get a drink. Good idea. Yeah, take the taste away. Oh, she's probably just mouthing off like she always is. So what did you mean if I knew everything you'd done for me? Excuse me, but Carla has just about broken my jaw and it's me you're laying into. I want an answer. Well, it's Carla. You should be having a go at, not me. Oh, you've done more than enough of that for both of us these last few weeks. Come on! What happened, Tracy? What did you do? Oh, well, this is fun. Yeah, come on, should we make a move? Oh, no way am I letting her spoil my evening. What's going on in there? Do you think I should go in? No, no, leave him to it. Of course, it's not the first time she's been out with a chef. Really? No. She went out with a bloke called Kieran. All over him she was while his restaurant was going well. And it all went south. She told him to clear his bank account before his business partner found out. And did he? No. He got cold feet and confessed. Then she nearly ended up inside. Can we talk about something else for five seconds? OK, <laughs> fine by me. Oh, hello. Oh, she does not look happy. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, me? All sorted? Uh, yeah, for now. So, how did you stop Tracy trying to kill Carla, then? It wasn't easy. So what's happening. We've agreed to keep our separate interests separate. With apologies for the upset. No, it's not your fault. So, dare we ask what the big secret was? Oh, it's just the usual Tracy Buster. Any wine on the go? No! I mean, there'll be some fine-tuning to do, but we can sort that out when I get back. I don't know where he's got to. Olivia, hi. How are you? I'm good. Problem? This client, Saskia, wants me to plan a wedding. Now she's just told me she's going away on business for a couple of weeks. So you can get on with it in peace? What's wrong with that? Oh, no. She's leaving her fiancé to handle it. A bloke planning a wedding? Yes, exactly. And most of them are clueless. So then they just agree with everything you say, and then the bride-to-be comes home and changes everything. What are you going to do? Not much I can do, is there? So, do you want to hear all about my meal with Todd and Phelan? You could have cut the atmosphere with a razor blade. Not just now, Sean. You sure you're OK with all that? Absolutely fine, yeah. Sorry I'm late. Where have you been? I held up at work. You could have rung. It's only ten minutes. Mm. Anyway, this is Michelle, who you'll be organising the wedding with. Meet Will. Chatterton? Michelle! <laughs> <laughs> you two know each other. Uh, we were at school together. Yeah, I don't believe it. Yeah, small world, eh? <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> so what are you doing then? Uh, architect. No way! Yeah, got my own little practice. Oh, well, you see, I always thought you'd be half like. Well, you've not done too bad yourself. Wedding organiser, own pub. Well, half a pub. And technically it's my husband, so... You will do some actual planning while I'm away and not spend all your time reminiscing. If he gives you any trouble, Michelle, you've got my number. Reverse the charges if you have to. Don't you worry, I'm used to it. Come on, anyway. You're meant to be taking me out for dinner. See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Coincidence. How long's it been since you've seen him? Oh, 20 odd years. Know him well, did you? Quite well. I knew it. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Then why are you blushing? I'm not. You're going to have to tell us. <sighs> Had a little fling at, did we? I know you, Michelle. All right. OK, we were. An item. <gasps> long, big, short, small. We were fairly full on for a while. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting it. No, come on, we were 14 years old. Neither of us knew what we were doing. I'd never been out with anyone before. You know what they say. First cut is the deepest. First love never dies. Oh, get in there. Go on. 